There have already been loads of shakeups in Chicago Fire Season 10 already, but it seems like there are even more on the way. Warning, spoilers are coming your way. We will check which recurring actor's chances of returning in Season 10 have just plummeted, the chances we have of seeing Casey again, and so much more. Hold on while we give you all of the mind-blowing details to expect in Season 10. So, who won't be returning in Season 10? Some of the most memorable characters in One Chicago are the side characters characters that make an appearance every so often. But there is one fan favorite whose chances of returning to Chicago Fire Season 10 just plummeted. That actress is Melissa Ponzio, who plays Chief Bowden's wife, Donna, in the series. Donna has been around since Season 2, and there was a time that we saw her pretty frequently. But in the last few years, she has been appearing less and less, a fact that has made many fans really sad. Donna is a great character that fits perfectly with our beloved Bowden, and fans always enjoy seeing the two of them interact. But there is very little chance that we will get to see that this year. Melissa Ponzio just might not have the chance to stop by and join the show this year. She has been cast in the Paramount Plus Teen Wolf revival movie. She confirmed the news on social media that she would be joining her former castmates in the highly anticipated movie, which is set to start filming very soon. So depending on the filming schedule, it might just be too hectic for her to be able to pop into the firehouse anytime soon too, especially since it will probably be filmed in complete different places, making it even harder to commute. But what will that mean for Bowden's marriage? Will the fact that we won't be able to see the character mean that it is the end to Bowden's marriage? Not necessarily. Her appearances in the show have been really limited in the last few seasons already, with Donna only making one appearance in Season 9. But that doesn't really matter in the storyline. Most of Chicago Fire's story is more focused on work hours and what is going on at the firehouse. It is fun to see some of the characters as they go home and interact there, but it isn't the end of the world when we don't. It's not like it is a major change to the story. Hopefully, they won't write Donna out of the story, and that way she can still pop in whenever she has the time to do so. Is Casey gone for good? In a twist that broke many of our hearts, one of the original Chicago firefighters that we have loved from the start, Captain Matt Casey, decided to move away from Chicago and his family at Firehouse 51. He decided that the right thing to do would be to move to Oregon and look after the Darden boys. Now let me just say, thank goodness they didn't just kill off this character. That that would have been devastating and completely heartbreaking. It's not like they have ever had any issues with killing some of our favorite characters, so I am just grateful that he isn't dead. The other thing is that Casey just finally got things figured out with Brett, and many fans were worried how they were going to end the relationship. We have waited years for them to figure things out, and now he is leaving. Would they just break up? I must say I felt a bit cheated when his relationship with Dawson just broke up so easily after everything they had been through, and it would have kind of sucked if the same thing happened with Brett. But the writers of the show found a way to keep them together and the character in the story, even with Jesse Spencer leaving the show. They are doing the long distance thing and making it work, meaning that there is always a door open for him to return. Why did Jesse Spencer leave in the first place? It sounds like nothing dramatic happened to make Jesse Spencer leave the show that he had helped to build. He just felt like it was time to take a step back and take some time for his family and to do other things. It makes complete sense, even if it might not be what fans want to hear. He has been in Chicago Fire right since the very first episode, making it almost 10 years that he has been in the show. And before that, he had a starring role in the medical drama House for years too, meaning that he has been working on television for 18 years without stopping. When you are one of the main stars of a television show, the hours can be impossibly long and demanding. He might just need some time off to rest and spend time with his family. He did say that stepping away from Chicago Fire was a really hard decision since he really loves the show, but one that he felt was needed. As much as we hope he comes back, we also hope that he enjoys his much-deserved time off. Are you sad to see Matt leave the show? Would you love for him to come back? Let us know in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you. Next up, we will check out the chances of seeing him soon, how the changes will affect the firehouse, and so much more. So stick with us. Could Casey return? According to the story, Casey would be moving to Oregon for three years and then the plan is for him to come back. Could that be possible? Well, we don't know, but the door is open for sure. But we might be seeing him much sooner than we expect. He is still in a relationship with Brett, and he is still Severide's best friend. And since there is a very special occasion on the horizon, we hope that he will take the time to stop by. And we aren't the only ones to think so. Executive producer and co-creator of Chicago Fire, Derek Haas, has shared that he couldn't imagine a wedding without Casey. That's right, Severide and Kid are going to get married this year. And there is just no way that Casey would miss it. It just wouldn't fit with the character. And besides, it wouldn't be the same without him. Meaning that we might 
get to see Casey back in Chicago Fire much sooner than many of us expected. But the question remains if Jesse Spencer will ever return to Chicago Fire full time. And for now, that is probably not going to happen. But we have hope that it will change one day. How will all the changes affect Firehouse 51? When Casey left, he also left his position in Firehouse 51 open. And most of us hoped that it would be filled by Stella Kidd. She has passed her lieutenant exam and would fit perfectly in the role. But she was busy with her girls on fire and missed the chance. Bowden appointed Jason Pelham as lieutenant, a change that will affect the firehouse for a while. They aren't exactly a group that loves change, and historically change has always caused a lot of drama. But so far, Pelham seems to be a nice guy that fits into the house. Severide and Kid have even tried to make life easier for him, since unsurprisingly he has faced a few challenges. We do know that the character will be around for the rest of the season at least, so it doesn't sound like he is going anywhere. What will that mean for our favorite couple? Will Stella need to move to another firehouse? We don't know, but one thing is for sure, a lot can still happen in the last half of the season. Next, we can expect a new character. And that is not the only change that will be happening in the rest of the season. They have also announced that a new character will be joining the show. Caitlin Carver, who is most well known for her role in Dear White People, will be joining the cast of Chicago Fire. She is going to be playing a medic named Emma. We all know that medics have a habit of being strange at times, so it's going to be interesting to see how she fits into the team and just how long she will stick around. Hopefully, Brett won't be faced with loads of challenges thanks to the new teammate. Will season 10 be the last? With Chicago Fire being in its 10th season, the question is always how many more seasons of the show will we get? But for now, fans of the show can rest easy. Back in February 2020, NBC announced that they had renewed the show for its 9th, 10th, and 11th season. So we for sure are getting at least one more. And right now, the ratings for the season are still really great, ensuring that right now it still makes a lot of sense for NBC to continue the show. There is still a lot of story left of season 10, but even if they ended up on a cliffhanger, we already know that we will see it resolved. Have you been a fan of Chicago Fire since the start? Do you still love it? Thanks for watching!